All right, everyone. Welcome back to Adobe Live. What is going on? Why does it default to mute, says Charles? I'm not entirely sure, um, but hopefully you folks can hear me. Hopefully you folks can hear Chris. Why don't you say hi to everybody? Make sure everything is uh, is up to, up to scratch. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I hope everything's up to scratch. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Um, but welcome back, everyone, to Adobe Live. I really appreciate you folks being here, hanging out. Um, thank you to uh, the uh, wonderful uh, Kyle Webster, uh, who was on just before us doing that wonderful segment. Uh, excellent illustrations as always, sir. Really appreciate you. Um, uh, Sam says, welcome back. Val and Chris, thank you so much, Sam. I appreciate you uh, being here moderating for us. Big shout out to, to Sam for that. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump back into our magician design off that we were doing yesterday. I'm going to take some time to kind of go over our schedule for Adobe Live and go over what our uh, design off uh, is about today so that you folks can get uh, involved in what we're doing. And then I am going to actually pass things over um, to my guest, Chris, so that he can introduce himself before we dive into today's work. Uh, so we did have a pretty jam-packed session today. Um, if you folks were here earlier than you saw, we had, we have like nine different segments today, which was insane. Uh, Spencer Nugent was here in the morning with the uh, interior design in Adobe Photoshop, which sounds excellent. Uh, we had our Premiere Pro Daily Creative Challenge with Jason Levine, which is really awesome because it's not really something that we've ever done before, having a Daily Creative Challenge for video. Uh, so if you didn't catch that, uh, please tune into some of the VODs um, and uh, show up and hang out tomorrow um, uh, because there should be another challenge going on tomorrow at the same time. Uh, Paul Tranny was here with the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge at about 9 a.m. Pacific, followed by Aaron Nace from Flurn doing an awesome uh, photo compositing segment. We had the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge from Claudie from Print My Soul at 11.30, uh, followed by a branding and identity segment with Lena Cordero and Julia Maselska. Uh, Andrea Hawk did the XD Daily Creative Challenge, followed by the previous draw along with Kyle T. Webster, which was awesome. Um, and now Chris Barasa and I... Voodoo Val are here uh, for the design off, which is going to be pretty rad. So, um, Chris, why don't you, <laughs> you like my, you like my news, my newscast intro yeah. to how cool we're going to be today? <laughs> it's going to be radical. It's going to be wait. rad. Cowabunga. <laughs> yeah. Tubular, bro. Oh, we're going to get it. Are we going to do that? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you guys can kind of already tell exactly how this is going to go. Um, out of topic, but I love your eyeshadow. Thank you. You just made me all like that much more powerful um, uh, for this design off against Chris, and it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Thank you. Um, no comments Chris, on mine. Yeah, I see nobody. A little yet. troubling, a little <laughs> annoying, but okay. Are That's you fine. offended? Are you offended? I went for a, I went for a natural sort of look inspired by a little bit of. Um, <laughs> parenting fatigue i don't know if you can pick up on a little bit of the bag the, i love the purple hues underneath the yeah, eyes there it's really I, it's great. just annoying no one noticed it but okay it's fine it's i know you fine. Put, a, put a lot of effort into it yeah um, i don't i don't want to be in my head about it you know? yeah it's fine honestly it's it's all right this is the internet things happen it's it's okay um, but anyways, um, where can you see the schedule, Lisa? Uh, the schedule, actually, if you guys scroll down below the video player, uh, some people don't know this because some people don't scroll down and check out what's what's down there, but we actually have all of our VODs organized by category, so like uh, illustration and photography and XD and everything down there. But the first rotating carousel of videos is actually the uh, schedule for what is coming up next. Um, so you guys can see what's going on on all the other days and everything, which is pretty cool. Um, so Sam says it's breathtaking. Um, yeah. Literally. Nice. Okay. All right, <laughs> yeah, you're back. feeling good? Okay. All right, yeah, he's good. All right. Um, so, uh, Chris, why don't you introduce yourself and let everyone know who you are and what you're all about, and then we will dive into our uh, our prompt for today. Uh, well, my name is Chris. I work at a company uh, that I co-founded called Red Hook. Um, we're making a, a game called Darkest Dungeon uh, 2, which is a follow-up to <laughs> Darkest Dungeon. I should have prepared an opening segment. Um, <laughs> I've been a concept artist and a illustrator for about 15 or 16 years before I started this company. And um, now I just use an ink brush all day, every day, uh, despite Photoshop's ever increasing platform of tools. Mm -hmm. As I age, my usage of them has narrowed to a single brush. To one single. And, <laughs> <laughs> one 
so that's my that's my journey uh yeah well um i'm super pumped about it uh you guys really should honestly if you have not already checked out darkest dungeon and all of the awesome stuff that they have coming up you really should it's one of my all-time favorite games um and it's it's very very cool uh, so definitely check out that. Um, and now without further ado, I'm going to jump in real quick. I'm going to show off kind of what some other people did. So our uh, prompt for the magician design off essentially is uh, to choose, like invent a magician character, invent a magical wizard of some type, um, or choose an existing character of that nature um, that already exists that you're fond of um, and illustrate or design some aspect of that character. So if you're an illustrator, you can design the magician uh, themselves or you can illustrate something that a magician might carry with them um, or a companion they might have with them or, or anything at all that you can think of pertaining to magical characters, illustrate something like that. Um, if you're a hand letterer, you can choose the title of an interesting magician or make one up off the top of your head and do some uh, hand lettering for it. If you're a UI UX designer you can design some kind of magical landing page um, and if you're a graphic designer you could design some magical icons or something everyone of any discipline any skill level um, when it comes to to art is welcome to join in this challenge um, and if you do uh, I sincerely hope that you tweet to us or uh, tag us and use the hashtag on Instagram or Twitter of hashtag Adobe live design off. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to pan over here because we did get a bunch of submissions yesterday and I'd love to give everybody a shout out and kind of show, um, what everyone did. We got a censored version of RJ Soria's art here where he did like this kind of like goddess, um, illustration, um, of, uh, a kind of like nature, witch it seems like, which is super cool. Um, we got this really cool, like disembodied, like, like almost like a traditional magician design, uh, from Jose, which was really awesome. It's got some like floating limbs and stuff going on here, which I thought was awesome. Uh, artist and Jeanette did this super cool, like mythical kind of, uh, um, iguana wizard. I think she actually named it. It's, um, let's see, magician with a tiny yellow dragon she created, which is awesome. Uh, J-Rod Knowledge did this awesome snake magic character, which is super cool. We got this, uh, Jesse Turner actually did like has like a, a story for his that he submitted and i don't know if this is something that was pre-existing but he said this is called the last druid and in the far future a horrible alien cataclysm has left the earth a wasteland and only one plant remains for this wizard to channel his magics through and i thought that was so rad and tubular and radical <laughs> and, and diggity dope that i had to <laughs> i just had to make sure you guys knew the story behind this one so that was pretty sick um we got, here's Chris's from yesterday, which I'm going to just wreck today because we are swapping. Chris and I are swapping our illustrations for today and we're going to work right, on each other's, right. which is going to be cool. Um, we got this one from uh, Marion, uh, who did like a sketch of this uh, kind of like flame elemental guy, which I thought was cool. Um, Tyler Makes posted a, a kind of an earth witch character. Um, we got these awesome illustrations from Wolf Dog Art. Um, he actually did four of them. It looks like he did four different illustrations. Um, and then we got two more over on Instagram. Um, we got this awesome uh, sea witch character from Angie Kaba, which is just gorgeous. Um, and then we also have, I believe there should be one more unless um, they removed. Oh, no, here we go. Uh, we got this from, uh, from Tom who said he went a little off topic because he used magic but he ended up making this epic like tree of life kind of painting and he posted like his works in progress and stuff throughout his illustration and it was awesome so you guys are knocking out of, out of the park i really appreciate everyone participating again if you do more work on the works in progress you've already posted or if you do a sketch or you finish something please tweet it to us or post it on instagram with the hashtag uh adobe live design off so that we can check them out and i'll i'll peek at it again towards the end of the stream um to give you guys a shout out um, yet again, but for, without further ado, let's let's kind of jump into to the actual meat of the design off that we're doing today. Um, I have Chris's file in my Photoshop, and I've sent Chris mine from yesterday, and we are going to continue this this family friendly battle 
respectful battle. So by, respectful. <laughs> so respectful. Um, uh, against each other by by working on each other's work. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if you have a plan for yours. I was just gonna like jump into it and see what I. What I'm gonna I go to in change. and just try and and just ruin it. I, we made a joke yesterday that you were doing like a sort of Barbie magic, but um, I might try. I kind of like the bad girls, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna bad try girls the best. just ruin it up a little bit. So I was chipping away at this uh, while we were getting ready. And yes. uh, I think, uh, yeah, I kind of brought her chin down a little bit and gave her a bit more of a hawk nose. Mm -hmm. A huge fan of noses. Me too, you um, know? So I think I'm going to try to like maybe just give her a bit more of a diabolical pose and just, I'm just going to wreck it. I'm sorry. Right uh, now. No, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Destroy I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to jump into color and I, I have like a like a strong desire to like paint all the creepy weird like strange things in that triangle right behind this guy's head so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do that and make it look slimy and gross um because i love it uh so we'll see how he goes and i might just to spite you i might give him anime blushies because you can't do anything to stop me from doing that so i can't do anything to stop you, you i mean can't. you're disappointing yourself <laughs> That's and, enough. That's enough. <laughs> you know the millions of of people who are out there relying on you I to make wish the, the we right choices millions. in your life, and you're letting them all down. But that's fine. That's you, honestly because you're like because you're so serious about this right now. I think the anime blushies are going to be happening much sooner than later. Um, so let me just let me just hook this up with the uh, with the background color um, real quick, and then we're gonna we're gonna dive instantly into into anime land so that's what we're gonna do right here here we go um let me grab like a good pink well like a like a soft like a soft barbie magic pink i think um and i'm gonna just gonna come in here with like a like a texture brush i think oh yeah that's looking good i'm feeling that and i'm just gonna boom 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 bam like emerald says i'm just gonna add oh yeah these little He's very cute. So kawaii, Chris. So kawaii. <laughs> oh yes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh yeah. We instantly started today off with like so much snark. I feel like this is just all super necessary. Um, and I don't feel bad. I was going to feel bad, um, but now I don't. So there we Someone go. was asking if I was behind the art for Darkest Dungeon and I am. Uh, I did the art for the base game uh, myself. We had a really small team. And then for the DLCs, we brought on uh, uh, Trudy Castle. And then now for the sequel, we have like a full art team of like eight people. Um, nice. So I'm no longer the only one behind it. I haven't been the only one in, in a little while. Um, I thought that I thought that was so cool um, uh, when that happened because I was wondering just myself like how does that how does that work when you have like a team of uh like a small team of people like making an indie game and then eventually you probably do want to expand because that's a lot of work for um for a small amount of people and how does it work when it comes to something that's so stylized like i don't know val <laughs> <laughs> i just was curious because it's just like do you know so do you know cool. does chat know does anybody know does anybody who can we ask? Who can we possibly ask about this? I googled how to run a studio. Did you really? No. No. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna fail on my own terms. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> We're gonna be watching every step. No, it's been good. We got it. We have an art style like locked in, and everybody uh, is like a, a. I believe everybody is a, a fan of what we're trying to do visually, and so it's it's cool. Like I kind of view my job as like I'm trying to make the boundaries of the of the stadium you know and then throw a bunch of sports equipment out on the field and then it's like you guys can figure out the rules of this game yeah just go for it um, but uh yeah trying to keep it faithful but also uh, enhance it a little bit that's awesome um yeah I, I think like the the obviously the gameplay for darkest dungeon is really fabulous um 
uh, and it's as as salty as it can make people who play it. Like it's just really fabulous. But um, I think that like as an artist, that was one of the first things that kind of like got me to try the game out. I'd been watching a friend of mine stream it, and when I when I entered his chat and I saw the artwork, I was like, "This. I need what. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, I'm gonna need it in my life." Um, and then I jumped into it and uh, kind of fell in love with it. So I really love um, that, like, even in expanding, you guys, like, really kept it, like, super um, consistent. And shout out to, like, Trudy and, and all the other folks working on it. Because I was, I was like, really impressed with, like, their work anyways, you know? But the, the stuff that you guys have, like, put together as a team for, for the game is really impressive. So, loving it. <laughs> Going to have to leave for a bit in a second. How long is the stream supposed to be? We're gonna be, we're on for an hour. Um, so we will be on for another like 45 minutes. Um, and I am adding some color to this before I start like totally making everything in the background extra creepy. Going for like mucho creep factor here. It's gonna be, gonna be dope. I think at least, unless Chris starts like whining about his makeup choices again, it makes me feel bad. I'm I not just sure. I don't have the skills. I gotta watch some tutorials. Yeah, I can. I can just see you now. The next time we see you, like stream on Twitch or anything, you're gonna be like, "So this is my stylus, and I'm gonna put my hand up here so you can see the texture of my stylus, just like all those uh, makeup tutorial gurus do." It's gonna be great. Oh yeah. You're gonna be like super, <laughs> super gurued out. This is, uh, I have it set to a chalk brush and it doesn't actually change my stylus at all, but I just want to show it off. I know there has to be like two or three people at least who know what I'm talking about in chat. Voodoo Val's art reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. You are too kind. You flatter me. Um, I've done a lot of fan art for it, um, so you probably have seen some stuff. Um, I think my favorite piece of fan art I ever worked on for Darkest Dungeon actually was the collaboration I did with Dimera uh, for that big shambler, and then we did oh, like, yeah, that was sweet. the the three shambler moon. That was that was funny. Um, Trudy says Chris likes the smoky eye look. I heard <laughs> Darkest That's Dungeon funny. joke. Guy liner is a good skill to have, my dude, from Daniel. All right, cool. Guy liner, I'm loving it. I feel it. like I missed the boat on that, but maybe Me too, too but I'm into it. Oh, man. Um, I am an artist starting out, and I was wondering, how did you guys meet? How did you build relationships with other artists? I harassed and harangued Chris on social media with reposts of my fan art until he said hi to me is what I did. Is I that think, what happens? I think I think that's I think that's what happened. That's how huh. I remember it. Cool. I remember I don't, I don't know. I remember working really hard. Apparently the 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 relationship is not like the same in either of our minds, but that's what I did. Listen Pauline, <laughs> I gotta get off this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is gonna be like thanks for uh Hanging out today, guys, but... Yeah, Jenny, that always was a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I think I think when it comes to, to forming relationships, um, especially if you're kind of new to the artistic community, um, it's always a good idea just to, like, just say hi to people, honestly. I think um, you, you make a lot of friends and you meet a lot of folks online um, who just are like-minded and share a lot of your your same um interest just by talking to people who have those interests or posting like making I, I used to make like a lot of appreciation tweets for like concept artists i really admired and then people who also liked them would be like hey yeah you're right this is super awesome and then we just kind of formed a relationship and a bond based on that um i would say don't like don't be super shy uh just kind of like get out there and 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 interact with people but i would also say like don't be hurt if people don't want to be your friend on the internet because i did <laughs> i did a few times when i first like started using the internet avidly for for my work um because i didn't really understand um that some people have like twitter accounts and things and they but they don't they're either also also new to it just like you are um or they're just not really super interactive people 
Um, so try not to take it personally. You kind of got to fire and forget, in my opinion. Like, mm -hmm. you just, you say your bit, and then you forget about it and leave it. And if they get back to you, great. And if not, um, then just maybe they saw it, maybe they didn't, just keep doing your own thing. I think, like, it certainly happened to me, and I'm not a, like, notable artist in that sense by any stretch of the imagination, but um, people will, like, send you something or talk to you and then be like, okay, yeah, cool. Cause that's the, what I had time to do today when mm -hmm. I was interacting. And then there's another message, another message. And can you look at this and, can you, and it's like, it's too much and there's no outs. And then you are put in a position where you have to say, no, I don't have time, which doesn't feel good. Like mm -hmm. no one wants to say that. Um, yeah. So I would just like counsel people to give a bit of an out and accept that like, it, like this person you know like craig mullins won't reply to me well, <laughs> it's craig mullins though dude Come he's on. surfing and drawing jerusalem yeah. with a hard round brush perfectly he yeah. doesn't have time to talk to you <laughs> like i you know you're just gonna have to accept that you're not the top of craig mullins list i guess that's you know? so funny i've never heard him described like that but that's literally perfect um i no, mean if you have a medieval right. town square that you need drawn in an hour perfectly mm -hmm the first try is your guy yeah yeah yep. and it'll look like he spent like six months on it it's amazing yeah um no you're you're absolutely right and i think i think that um whereas like it's kind of common for people to be like hey don't take somebody's text super seriously because you can't hear inflection and intention you know in in text form you know also i guess like keep in mind that when you message people not they're not always gonna be like, not everybody is, like, ready and rare to go and waiting for your message and super stoked to reply because everybody's got their own stuff going on in their lives, you know? Um, so, uh, I what something that I've done before when I just, like, saw somebody's art that I really liked, I thought they were cool, is um, I will see it. And if something I see online particularly, like, strikes me where I'm just like, this art is so good and it, like, really affected me emotionally... Um, I do a weird thing where I, I message them on social media and I say, Hey, um, just wanted to tell you that I really appreciate your art. This is how it made me feel. Keep up the good work. And I just like express to them that I appreciate their stuff. And sometimes nobody messages me back. And sometimes somebody be like, Hey, that's really nice. Thanks. I appreciate it. And then, um, I just kind of let it flow naturally from there. And I've made a, I've made a few pretty dope friends, um, doing that actually. But yeah, if, if you, if you're looking for friends and, um, send people some messages, but don't, don't, uh, I guess don't badger and, uh, kind of leave it, you know, when you message somebody kind of leave it there and just see what happens. Um, and don't, don't be sad if somebody's like, just like blatantly ignores you or says they don't have time for a portfolio review or something because everybody's got their own stuff you know i get a hellboy vibe from the art style i like those hard edge shadows yeah i'm a big fan uh as well i this is like definitely something i wish i drew um but i did for anyone who's not who's not aware um we are painting on each other's artwork that we did yesterday so this is this is chris's uh illustration from yesterday and he's working on mine um and we are yeah we're, we're working on each other's work which i thought was a great idea you're a genius um because i'm um, just been, i just wanted a chance to destroy something beautiful yeah <laughs> what was that what's that quote from again? <laughs> fight club <laughs> yeah, fight, yeah fight club uh jared leto <laughs> yeah that was uh i remember I, I think i watched that movie too young that was a trippy movie to watch a it's kid. a great movie super yeah good. super good, good. It's satire, mm -hmm. which apparently is lost on some people, but yeah. yep. it is. But it's a yeah, great film. Honestly, it's one of those films, too, that you can look at it and kind of find like a great compositional painting in like most scenes. Yeah, the, the palette is quite good. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Pretty radical, yeah. bro. Pretty tubular, man. I'm going to do this to you for like the next year at least. Um, I'm gonna wait till it's been a while and like you forget about it and then I'm just gonna bring up weird describing words from the 80s all over mm. again. Yeah. What, you were like almost born in the 80s, right? No, not, well, no, maybe almost. I'm 1992. That's weird. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's super weird. 
Sounds 80s right. were my were my thing. I almost I almost didn't you use almost, a family friendly word there. Uh oh, that was a close close call. Close call. Right, we're back. Getting, we made it. Getting better. Yeah. Perfect. This is. Great. I got a family. I love families. I love friendly families. Um, <laughs> oh man. Um, Adobe Live is in the house. What's up, Adobe Live? Thank you for joining us. Uh, Jan Eric, your animations make me cry. Who? Jan Eric does animations and they make people cry. Jan Eric is the uh, the the pun master. Some some refer to him as the the Punisher. Um, and uh, his his right. puns make me cry. I've never seen any animations that he's done that have made me made me cry though. So I'm I'm um, interested in learning more about that. Not right now though. Not like there's a time for that, but definitely, definitely interested in what you guys are talking about there. Um, you typically start, oh, when you stream. Yeah, Sam Peterson does stream on Behance. I've noticed that. Um, and Sam Peterson, I don't know if you've checked out Sam Peterson's work yourself, Chris, but Sam is pretty dope. Um, oh. so you definitely want to, want to give him a look, see, and everyone, every, yeah, everyone in chat, if you guys, uh, kind of browse around on Behance for, uh, for personal streams, Sam is definitely a, a, a dope guy to, to tune into. All right. I'm kind of keeping track of time here, doing my best. Um, what is everybody else working on? Cause I know that a lot of you guys are also participating. I did see... Uh, like we looked at earlier, I did see like a lot of works in progress, people posting their work that they've been doing along with us. Thank you very much. Um, but what is everybody else working on? And if there's somebody new, um, what are you, what are you starting today? Gotta know. Um, welcome in Ash. It's good to see you. Hey Val, you're dope too. Oh, thanks man. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. We just had like a super nineties kid moment. That's great. Might have been one-sided. Might have only been me, but I appreciate it. Um, have you two ever had your names punned? Uh, yes, I have, actually. Um, by myself. Because when I play Stardew Valley, I call my streams Voodoo Valley. That's a... That's a that's kind of a pun, right? It's like a play on my name. Five out of ten. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Wow. I thought it was really good. I was uh, I thought it was super clever, but that's okay. I'm trying to throw you off your game a little bit. Here. <laughs> it's working, Chris. It's we'll working. See you design off. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, man. Um now nah, you felt it? Okay, cool. Good Sam. We just yeah, we just bonded um uh, across space and time uh, just now cuz we're totally in different cities and and stuff and it's just it's a good feeling. Um Thanks, man. Uh, Eric Sue has a family YouTube channel. That's rad. That's super cool. Or his whole family? His uh, whole family's on on YouTube? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what he means. Eric Eric does some pretty cool stuff. Eric um uh is like a UI UX designer. He does like app design and and, and web design and stuff and uh he um is like a regular in chat. We got a lot of regulars in chat, but Eric actually um uh, hung out and did like our creative challenges and stuff and then uh, got to come on and be on Adobe Live and like design for us and stuff. It was super cool. And then he shared a, that video of his wife singing, which was beautiful. So he's he actually has a pretty dope family. Um, check My out family Val and Chris. Get any hits. Oh, oh no. My nine-year-old social suck. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna hire a consultant, I think. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta pump those numbers over the summer. Yeah. So important. That's so funny. I don't think, I don't, I don't think, like, like, making a living on, uh, the internet with the use of social media, I don't know, like, if I, if I had kids and they were like, hey, I want to get a Twitter, I'd be like, nah. No, no, <laughs> no. I know. <laughs> I don't think so. That's he funny. asked me what a YouTuber was the other day, and I literally was like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Help me with the recycling. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sorry, I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if somebody is. A, it's fine. Do do your thing. I just I just don't want my kid to get into it just yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not. I'm just not ready for that. I don't know if I could. That's too much. I don't even trust me on Twitter. 
so I don't know if I could handle, um, like a small human that I'm responsible for, like also being on Twitter. I don't think I, I don't think that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, I don't want him in a fight with PewDiePie. Yeah. At age nine. <laughs> and he like, would be. And he would be. Yeah. I mean, that's the way things are going. Stream, yeah. So. so can't, can't discuss it any further, but you Gonna guys know. Yeah, yeah. You guys get it. Um, 92 crew. Hashtag gnarly, bro. Yeah, thanks, Tyler. <laughs> Welcome in, man. Uh, Tia, any advice for someone who has never done digital art? Um, I I would say, from my personal experience, um, dive into it. If like if it's something you really want to do, dive into it. Um, and don't don't give up when the tools frustrate you. Because I I jumped into doing um digital art uh and i was very for a long time i was like super discouraged whenever i couldn't do what i wanted to do with the tools um and i would quit for long periods of time and then fall out of practice um and then i would be frustrated when i'd come back later and i would like still be bad at it <laughs> i don't know what i thought was gonna happen um but uh yeah i give it some time sometimes when you when you start using digital tools some people get it like that and then some people they need a lot more a lot more practice and a lot more time and care kind of put into the journey of like starting to use those tools and that's okay um but... it feels really different from traditional i Definitely. if you can burn through some nibs if you don't like respect your nib count uh you can put like a piece of paper on top of the drawing space on the cintiq and it gives it a bit of grit mm -hmm. um which I did that initially, uh, but then I had to order a bunch of nibs because you just chew through that plastic so fast. Yeah, I um, I I had to order some nibs one time because I didn't. When I first started using um, a tablet, I uh, did not realize that nibs were even a thing. Um, and so after like two months of using the tablet, I was like basically just like raking across my tablet with this like horrible, awful, destroyed stylus pen. Um, and then finally somebody was like, what are you doing, bro? And I was like, I'm drawing. And they're like, not with that nib, you're not. And I had to, that's when I discovered that in the base of your like stylus holder there's mm -hmm. usually nibs and like yeah he picked it up and he opened it up and i was like where did those come from yeah. <laughs> what yeah like it's some lara croft puzzle solving to yeah. figure that out the first time it, ancient knowledge literally yeah. like i was like no way there's been like nibs and pieces to my hardware in this little cup thing for so long and i had absolutely no idea about it and i don't i don't understand um, is it okay to go a little Akira here on the family friendly stream? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's cool. Um, I think that if it's not cool, someone will send me a formal letter later. But I was gonna go. I was gonna go slightly, slightly creepy in the back with like the weird wigglies um, that you put in here. So I think that's. I think that's okay. It's okay, if she's turning her own arm into a monster arm. Yeah, I think that's okay. fine. Yeah. I think we've had we've had like creature design and it's monsters. so she can cradle her child better. Yes, like it couldn't be more family friendly. It's a it's loving. It's a it's loving, a loving monster, monster arm. arm. Yeah. Loving monster is the name of my band. <laughs> All right, I I'm in trouble for saying radical and rad, but you can have a band named. Loving I could be a singing like... singer songwriter in Loving Monster. Yeah. Yeah, that's because because that's not lamer than than tubular, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. That's okay. <laughs> this is all love, guys. I promise. Um, James Bond gadgets. I'm I'm all for those. Yes, it's like a it's like an organic James Bond gadget. Go go gadget monster arm is essentially what's happening here. Um, I'm gonna go for like a weird. You know what? I'm like I'm actually really surprised at myself that I'm adding like so much color to this because I typically like this is what I fear the most. Uh, when it comes to broadcasting is realizing that I have to now color what I what I drew um, because I I feel like I, that's not my strong suit um, is like choosing the perfect colors I usually if I'm gonna color on a broadcast I usually um, choose stuff like way ahead of time 
um, and then I, like know what I'm going to do before I get online and embarrass myself. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, this is a pretty uh, nifty space for experimentation and kind of, I feel like it's kind of cool sometimes to just like show off um, what it can be like sometimes uh, when other people make mistakes. So if I ruin it, then I'll fix it. And you guys get to see sometimes what the process is when you draw something and you hate it. Because <sighs> it's a it's a very real reality of 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 doing art. Yeah, I don't know how many people who watch this are like aspiring concept artists or people like that. But uh, one of the most important skills that like we look for when we're hiring is like a, a, a willingness to collaborate. And so like the fact that we switched drawings, like I'll do that all the time and you can't really have an ego. It's just about the pursuit of the best idea mm -hmm. and sometimes passing it off to somebody else, you know, gives it a, a kick in the butt to sort of take it out to a, to a more interesting place and get some other ideas in there. So I think like the most successful artists that I've worked at have been completely egoless because they recognize like this, you know, especially in, in a professional capacity, they're like, this is not my, my gallery opening. Mm -hmm. Like, like we're just trying to figure out how to make a cool robot here. So work on my stuff. I'll work on your stuff back and forth. And it's actually really fun. So I think it's a good skill to have is like being comfortable with somebody just tearing your stuff apart and putting it back together again, slightly differently. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I think, I think too, that, um, doing that as an exercise, honestly, like just to, just to get over that, I think is probably a good idea. Just like going for it, just saying, Hey, like, like, uh, give me like a, a harsh critique or like just take this and like paint over it and show me what I'm doing wrong or just like change or give me a suggestion or just like practice being super flexible is pretty great um, because I think that's one of the hardest things that I had to get over to be perfectly honest. It's just like not, um, like you said, like kind of not coming at things um, from an, a, a place of ego and just like trying to do what you have to do for like the greater good of a, of a project as a whole um and uh not worrying that you know whatever idea you posed is not gonna be something that ends up staying or you know whatever thing that you kind of originally envisioned for something is not what's going to end up being the final concept um but throwing cause i think i think when you're working on a big team throwing the ideas around um and having certain ideas rejected doesn't mean that it's a failure. It just means that like you have an idea of the direction you're not going and you can better formulate where you're actually going. Um, which I, at least that's how I, how I kind of get through like my own personal work. Um, yeah. It's a team sport. It's like everybody likes Wolverine, but no one really would want to work with Wolverine. Like the guy's yeah. the worst. So like, don't be the Wolverine on your team. Like yeah. no one wants you <laughs> exactly. get on your motorbike go deal with your weapon X angst and then come back to work when you're ready. But like, <laughs> just take it easy. Let Cyclops have Jean Grey. It's all he gets is Jean it's Grey. Like, stop messing gets. it up. Thank you. Like, <laughs> he could shoot gets. lasers from his eyes and date Jean Grey. Those are the two things that Cyclops gets. And Wolverine takes 50% of what Cyclops has. It's not cool. <laughs> this is great. Uh, Val's character reminds me of Deckard Kane. It's technically, it's technically Chris, I guess it's ours. Can we say it's ours? Is that, is that pretentious of me? No, no, no. Okay, it's ours. Our house. Ma, 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 ma. I hope you guys like that. I hope, I hope that's stuck in somebody's head by the end of the day. <laughs> the very real level. Um, but, uh, I don't like this color that I'm putting on his, I think I'm gonna leave his skin darker because I think it looks cool like that. Um, no, I think, um, uh, yeah, you're right. It's, it's, it's kind of a cool thing to be able to collaborate and it's, it's kind of, um, refreshing as well to, um, be able to work with people who don't freak out about stuff like that, because then it kind of puts you in a space where you feel like your ideas can really, uh, kind of go like kind of run free and you can really kind of design to your fullest extent where you're not like worried about tippy toeing around people or offending people or anything like that you can just like be in a creative space and make stuff together without that worry 
which is nice. Yeah, yeah, it's a production team. And what really matters at the end of the day is what ends up on the TV screen. Let's say for it's a video game or a cartoon show. Mm -hmm. Like, no one cares what the concept looked like. Honestly, like, I like concept art too, believe me. No one buying games is as fixated on it as, as you will be. Mm -hmm. And so it's like the final product is the thing that matters. That's what everybody's working for. That's what the modeler is working for, the concept artist, the texture artist, the animator, the rigger, the effects guy. It's the final product that matters the most. Mm -hmm. I, I worked at a, at a cartoon show and I came in and all of the, they call them designers in, in TV that do the concept art, but mm -hmm. there was all this dysfunction because they were like, well, we did the concept and the modeler's job was to just match the concept. And I had come from games and I'm like, this makes no sense. Like, why would you use a 3D medium to try to match a 2D drawing? They're compl it's like trying to get an apple to taste like an orange. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, no, 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 I paired them up. And I'm like, the concept artists are responsible for helping the modelers get to the core of what the character is, but you're both on the hook for the 3D model. Mm -hmm. That's gotcha. what matters. So the sort of like idea that you can abdicate ownership or that like, well, my job's done. And dust then your dust hands your hands and kind yeah. of walk away. Like that, that doesn't, that isn't helpful. That's wolverine right? That's wolverine -ing. That's a perfect, yeah. that's a perfect description. I'm going to start using that from now on. You're welcome to it. Thank you. That's the, that, see, see, now you're being sweet to me. This is nice. This is nice. All that animosity out the door. And then he sighs. <laughs> He's like, ah. What's that saying? Like, when you take the throne, you should do something cruel and something kind so that the people know uh, you're capable of both. See, I don't worry about that stuff, so I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I worry about it constantly. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the person receiving the feedback has to leave their ego behind, but so does the person giving it from Stephen Booth. Yeah, I think I think I think there's a there's also um, an art to to giving um, feedback and stuff, but I also think that when you're when you're working on a team and you're like you know you're in the creative space with the rest of the crew um there also is an element of required thickness of skin if you're going to look for a certain kind of job too um i don't know if that if that maybe sounds a little bit harsh or or not but it kind of i kind of feel like um you kind of like, yeah, everybody kind of needs to, like, learn how to get along, but I think also people kind of need to understand what they're getting themselves into, like, moving into a field where there's, like, certain expectations um, for what you got to do as well. There's also timeliness, too, right? Like, it's like you can't spend the whole time sort of worrying about, like, you got to be able to just talk. Mm -hmm. Well, you're losing the line of action here. These boots aren't working for me. Uh, can you go in and clean up this and blah, 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 and then not be like, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Right. A um, level of um, maybe a level of uh, confidence and you know with which you approach. Yeah, your just work. For, like an electrician wouldn't come on site and be like, "Hey, man, listen, I know you put the socket, <laughs> but I'm gonna need help." Here, but I gotta tell you, and and I understand you worked hard, but I need you to move the socket seven inches past the side of the wall if you could if you don't mind no they'd be like this has got to move yeah and then the guy'd be like all right you know, exactly. like, you, you need <laughs> like, a bit uh, i like need your a bit construction of guy voice that yeah. was great <laughs> yeah, he's, a, right. he's a cool guy yeah he's super cool he's radical yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean i you know obviously you can you can you want to couch feedback as, as well as you can but like there has to be if you're going to be a professional that's what it means is mm -hmm. being like yeah all right i can do that yeah, I got this. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, these boots are made for walking. You guys are like the the kings and queens um, of getting music stuck into my head today. Um, and I'm not sure how to feel about it. Like, I'm going to have so many songs that I'm just going to have. I'm just going to have to make a Spotify playlist after today and like just get it out of my system. Don't forget we built this city on rock and roll by Starship. We built this city. I don't know. I don't want to get it. Like, maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't want to get like a copyright strike or something. I don't know how that works. If I'm, like, I don't think it works that way. Are you saying that I'm not good? Am I not good? <laughs> no, am, I, am I not good? Am I not good? <laughs> am I not good enough at singing the song like that? No, they're not gonna recognize that, Val. Don't worry. Yeah. Sing to wow, your heart's was, content. Nobody's gonna know awful. what that is. No one's gonna get that. Um, 
I'm offended. <laughs> That's okay. Um, all right. We, I would say we could probably take like another five minutes and kind of mess with stuff. And then, um, we should kind of look at what people submitted. So, so those of you who have, um, done any sketches or anything, even if it's just like a, like a quick work in progress, it does not have to be something that's like totally finished. Uh, go ahead and post it onto, um, onto Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Adobe Live Design Off, uh, because we would love to see what kind of uh, magical stuff you guys were putting together behind the scenes uh, while you're watching the stream today. Um, and uh, I'm gonna retweet some, and I'm also gonna if if you don't if you're not able to post it today, I'll I'll be checking them like because I I kind of hopefully I get to like do um, this show um often so i'll be checking the the hashtag often and i'll see them um but uh you do not have to finish a concept 100 percent. the idea is just that you know we've all been sitting here designing together having a good time nerding out and we just get to see what everybody made um, well, when val gives you feedback mm -hmm. you should do it yeah immediately i i can totally give feedback i, can, I would be happy to give feedback i uh, haven't caught one of your streams in a while esther it's good to see you welcome in uh, hey, Chris, what's something you miss from a smaller team and something that's better having a larger team after the first game from Jesse? I think he's, uh, I feel like he's, he's cornering you here. Maybe I'm not no, sure. Um, no, it's, <laughs> uh, I miss being like the simplicity of authorship on a 2D game. It's like, did I draw it? Yes. Is it in the game? Yes. Mm -hmm. The end. Um, it's, uh, it's much more complex, uh, the tools and um so you feel a little removed from mm -hmm. the pipeline a little bit at least in the role that i'm in uh but you can do a lot more stuff and so the ceiling of what you can accomplish is higher so you trade you're trading acceleration for top speed is what you're doing gotcha um to put it in the parlance of mario kart um <laughs> Thank and you. and you just have to be cognizant. Like everything is a trade-off in a in a in a production. Like time, money, quality, everything just affects everything else. There's no perfect solution. Um, but I would say, yeah, you're 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 losing a little bit of agility, but you're you're gaining uh, the ability to travel further. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um. Uh. It's not always awesome, I'll be honest with you. But. Oh my god, Val, what are you even doing with those precious colors? All of them make sense except the blushies, and I'm not ashamed. I'm unashamed totally and completely of what I've done here. Um, I And I, I, I don't feel ashamed because I believe I did issue a public warning um, that I was going to uh, mess up his painting. Um, so I've done a pretty nasty <clears throat> thing to yours too, to be fair. So honestly, I love it though. Like I really like it. So I can't be mad. Honestly. I'm just adding some postules. Because why not? Because it's necessary. Because she's tough and she doesn't care. She would have those and she'd still be grinning like a mad woman. If you could change your body shape with magic, I don't I feel like you'd get over a lot of stuff pretty quick. You'd yeah. be like Oh, yeah, like would, I got a like I got a zit. I whatever. <laughs> there, yeah, fixed. there, fixed, like, <laughs> done. Doesn't care. Easy. Honestly, yeah. if I could change my body shape with magic, like just on a whim at will, whenever I felt like it, I would probably do stuff like the monster arm just to freak people out constantly. So I don't think she. I think she's having a great time. I don't think it bothers her at all. No, I, I think she's good. I think there's nothing better than a person who can revel in their own Weird. talents. Yeah, definitely. She's having a great time. Um, all right, we should. We got about five minutes left, so uh, maybe we should kind of zoom out and show what we did. I just added some colors, honestly, and started like painting in. I haven't um, saved once. Here's things. a tip. Oops. I can't even save because I might show work stuff in thumbnails. Oh no! You have, to, it. you have yeah. to save later. That's yeah. fine. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Zo I I did. I'm gonna zoom in on the blushies here, and I'm gonna show like some of the detail and like just like painting and adding stuff. Honestly, this was kind of fun just because like I didn't. I didn't get to do like some of the detailed detailed stuff that I wanted to do because we only had a limited amount of time. But this was kind of fun just because I don't frequently get to like experiment with 
color the way I want. So this was neat just having a different starting place that I didn't create to start like dropping in color. This was pretty fun. Um, also the blushies make them look adorable. Um, but yeah, I had a good time. Um, I appreciate you sharing your art with me, Chris, so that I could, so that I could do this. Um, yes. vice versa to you and yours. Yeah. This holiday season. <laughs> um, but real quick, I'm going to pop over to Twitter. Um, and I'm going to check out and see, actually, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to yours and just kind of give them a full screen of your painting. And then I'm going to check Twitter and I'm going to make sure everyone behaved themselves on Twitter before I just jump into scrolling through the internet on a live broadcast. Because sometimes people um, don't, uh, don't censor anything <laughs> and then they, and then they, and then they post it for me. Um. So actually, I think, actually, I think we're looking pretty good. Let me pull up the Instagram and see if anybody posted new stuff on the gram as the, the hip cool kids call it the gram. That's what they say, right? I, think. I would not know. I'm not part of that group. Oh man. Okay. Of cool kids. That's fine. Yours, your lady is so nice and pleasant. And I just feel like I'm just, just monster. No, I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like it better. Um, all right. I think we got two more. So I'm going to go over these two here. Let me pop over here boom um so we got this amazing thing this is from vampironica which is a great name uh, started getting into pixel art and i figured this would be a fun way to get more practice in this is my little magician girl hashtag adobe live design off and i think that this is adorable i love the the glow effect that you got going with the pixels there on her magical wand or weapon that she has and i also like that she has like this cute little like glow around her eyes um it kind of, you know what it kind of reminds me of is, uh, I think one of my favorite characters, weirdly enough, from like the HP Lovecraft stories was Lavinia Waitley. Oh, yeah. She was so cool. She was like albino and had like that like weird, crazy kind of look to her. And I just thought she was I mean, she was cool. So, it's not, know, she's not an crazy. aspirational figure. Not um, in any switch. Certainly not a role model on a family friendly stream. No, uh, but, on but awesome. Of her packs, but yeah. yeah. But, but awesome. Like the, the description of her was super cool. So this kind of reminds me of like Lavinia kind of just like hanging out in the forest, hanging out in quotes and we will leave it at that. But um, yeah, it's super cool. Well done, uh, Vamp Veronica. Thank you for submitting work. Um, and then also it looks like Tyler Makes actually colored his line art. Um, it says a bit of a mindless coloring. I had fun doing yesterday on the Adobe Live Design Off prompt. This is awesome. So it's kind of, this is cute. This is like a little fishing witch, which I, I think is neat. Um, and I think you did a great job, man. Um, I like the colors that you're starting to choose and, and get worked in here. And I, I hope that anyone who posted a work in progress uh, for the prompt um, will definitely continue to work on them and continue to share. We got a last one here, a work in progress update uh, from Marion. Um, this is looking awesome. I'm, I'm loving it. Um, and I think, I think that's it. I'll look at, I'll, I'll briefly refresh Instagram one more time just to see if anything new came in, but it's all the same ones we saw earlier. Um, all right. But, uh, yeah, thank you everyone for, for joining us for the magician design off. That was a blast. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Chris, thank you so much for, for being my guest. It was a wonderful pleasure to get to hang out with you. Um, even if, even if we were snarky, it was all love and it was fun. Oh, of course. Um, it was it was great. And where just before we got like maybe a minute, where can and like where's the best place for people to find you online if they want to continue to follow your work uh, before we take uh, off? Probably at Barras Art on Twitter. I have an Instagram, but I've been derelict in it. Um, and uh, so when I post sketches, it's usually on Twitter. All right. So Twitter's yeah. the best place, folks, if you want to check out um, Chris's work. And also, where can they get? Where's the best place to get updates about Darkest Dungeon Two? Probably at Darkest Dungeon, also okay. on the Twitter platform. Okay, gotcha. So definitely check out Darkest Dungeon on Twitter. You guys won't be sorry. Honestly, it's one of my favorite things in the whole world, and I think you'll think it's oh, dope. Thanks. Uh, you're very <laughs> welcome. Um, and yeah, that's all the time that we have for today. We're going to take off, um, but definitely tune back into Adobe Live tomorrow because we've got a lot of other awesome uh, streams happening uh, on Friday. Um, and I will see you folks next week. Adios, everyone. Thanks, everyone.